One of the films that I've been really intrigued by has been Alita Battle Angel. Now, Alita Battle Angel is a film I've been waiting for for probably over a dozen years because yeah. James Cameron has been talking about doing this movie forever. I was very disappointed to find out that it was moving forward and James Cameron wasn't directing it. Instead, it was being directed by Rod Rodriguez, who, while he has done some excellent films in the past, he also hasn't done anything really worthwhile, in my opinion. And while saw the first trailer, didn't like it, but the subsequent trailers have got me on board. And I'm now actually excited about the film. Anyway, the film doesn't come out for another couple of weeks, but it's interesting to note that Variety is reporting that Alita Battle Angel has spent more money on its marketing, than almost twice as much as any other film this week. The say, they're saying right now for television that Alita Battle Angel has spent $5.6 million on television ads this week alone. To put that into perspective, at $5.6 million, uh, what's it called? Uh, Miss Bala? was second place at just $3.4 million. And then What Women Want uh, has come in at $3.3 million. Alita Battle Angel far outpacing any of those. So, I, I mean, look, I, Robert, you hear a number like this. Does this tell you either A, Fox has a lot of belief in this film, or does it tell you B, Man, this movie's not any good. We need to get as many people out opening weekend as possible. Which way do you think this is this no, kind of information leans? You know, I think this movie could be a gem. Mm. I really think that we are in for something special. Now, you know, Hector Navarro, one of my yep. my my <laughs> mortal enemies, he is somebody I respect his opinion. He was in New Zealand and saw apparently an early screening and said it blew his mind, which I thought was surprising to hear someone go that far. It's one thing to say it's some, something's good, but to say it was mind blowing is kind of a, a that's an approval to me. I mean, he's a he's a big nerd. He's on you know he's on other other YouTube channels speaking about nerdy stuff, and I've heard other people say uh, that it was great, and I think we might be getting something really special. And now we have Fox here, who's kind of bought, backing up by putting more and more money, like massively outpacing any of these other films coming out. Yeah. Actually, I'm just curious, like for you, like you've seen the trailers for Leah. Is this movie catching your attention at all, honestly? Um, a little bit. I'm not, I'm intrigued, but I don't know necessarily yet if I will go see it in the theater. So um, I'm going to go see What Women Want, not to put a plug in, because my friend Chris Wataski is in that, and I live <laughs> with his sister, and he's a great actor. He was in the show Love. Um, so if I had to choose between those two, I'd see that. But yeah, I, I will... I'll check it out. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Now, they often say you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Right. And unfortunately, <laughs> Alita Battle Angel put out a <clears throat> subpar first trailer. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things where I think they lost a lot of people yeah. right away. Of course, remember, Alita Battle Angel was supposed to open in that killer's row, that right. December 21st window. They were the smart guys in the room, moved off that date, and I think they're going to benefit incredibly. Plus, it gave them a couple more months to distance themselves from that first trailer, wash the taste of that first trailer out of people's mouths with all these new great trailers they're doing. We could be in for something pretty good here, so that's something for us to keep our eyes on.